Hello and welcome to another video. Unfortunately this week I wasn't able to get any good live cop content because I was away for a couple of days when most of the drops were happening. I tried running Shopify for two sites and unfortunately both those two sites didn't drop so I literally have zero content to give you this week. I did come across something quite interesting though on the Dave Ramsey show and if you guys don't know what the Dave Ramsey show is, basically it's this American guy who gets these like live Q&As about like financial advice and stuff. <laughs> And usually it's quite entertaining and, and quite useful to be honest, I quite like what he talks about. I've got some co-hosts who are actually doing this episode and just by chance I ended up stumbling across an episode where there is a sneaker reseller asking questions. In this video I'm just going to be running through what this guy said and just sort of give my two cents about it because this is a real person in a real situation which probably a lot of other people have experienced and gone through as well. So it's probably something that needs to be covered. Just before we start, I'm obviously not a financial advisor. I, I fix teeth and, and, and even that's questionable. So don't take any word of my advice for gospel and obviously always do your own research. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get into it. So I have one quick question. I have um, one debt, it's to my grandparents and they're really nice about it. Like they're not rushing me, but it's one of those things that like, when you sit next to them at dinner, it just food don't taste as good because I know <laughs> I owe them that money. Um, it's three thousand dollars, and I have a thousand dollars right now saved to pay them back. So I make fifteen an hour at my job right now, working thirty-three hours a week, and I'm going to school. Um, no student debt. I've been cash flowing that. Um, I have a side hustle of reselling. Sh That's actually pretty good. Sorry, I know he's not really gotten into it yet, but. If you're you're free from student debt already at that stage, that's that's a pretty good situation to be in. So you've got a good start. Shoes like Nikes, Adidas, all that. So my main question was, I want to kind of take it to the next level with reselling shoes because I've had like pretty decent success. Here we but go. To do that, I need to invest in a computer so that I could run like softwares like to act like people, so I could pick up more shoes. And the issue with that is. A computer for that is very specific, so I need to build it, and that's $1,500. But I know, like, my profit margin would be really, like, it'd be guaranteed because I already know how to use most of that stuff. I just don't have the computer. Would it be wise to go ahead and invest in the computer before paying my grandparents off so that I could, like, pay them back faster? Or should I just keep saving up as I've been doing to pay them back? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is a bit mad. Um, it's a bit of an interesting situation because that basically what he's asking is, I want to step up my reselling game. Should I spend money on a new computer or should I pay back my grandparents who have loaned me some money? Um, bear in mind, I think this money that he's talking about is actually his, his grandparents' money, which he owes them. So it is a debt. And what I find quite amusing about this is when they're asking the question, when he's asking the question, these two are literally like, Right, like what's going on like they clearly don't understand what reselling actually is and what a bot does um because they if you look at the title of the video the title is buy a computer for my bot business my my guys here they're, they're out here thinking that that this drill is about to set up cybersoul 2.0 so clearly they don't understand what's happening which is is quite interesting and to be honest I don't know why he asked the Ramsey show about this. This is something you can literally ask any 16 year old in a cook group. But anyways, here we are, 2021 reselling, ladies and gentlemen. Also, can we just stop and just pause at the fact that my guy specifically said he needs a very specific setup to run his bots, which will cost him $1,500. I don't know who's been advising this guy so far, but I can assure you, if you are beginning reselling, getting a $1,500 computer is not up there as a priority. In fact, it's not even up there as a priority at any time in reselling. If you just put that money towards a decent bot, a, a fairly decent server, which you can just get like an AWS and just run it for a little bit and, and it'll be fine, then that's, that's enough. Like you don't need the best computer. All I'd say for people who get into botting and stuff is just get a Windows system because Mac is just a pain in the ass. Bot devs hate it. It's just difficult to update and you'll find life a lot easier with windows and have far less errors how so the thousand dollars is is your total savings that's all the all that's the savings what I've, been, uh, I've been saving up for probably the past like three weeks and that's what i've gotten so far okay help me understand this software i'm not disagreeing i just don't understand it tell me what you are going to be able to do uh okay, with this okay. computer and software that you can't do right now on your phone just being scrappy manual hustling getting it done 
Okay, so what it is, it's called bot. So a bot, I would, I can, I'm in a cook group, which is like I can rep bots for, for let's say anywhere from fifty dollars to two hundred forty dollars, depending on how good of a software I want. And what that software will do is. <laughs> do you is, see that look? Do you see that look? Let's go back. Let's go back. Yep. <laughs> look at that look there. This is what happens when you ask like boomers. So these guys aren't even boomers. These guys are literally like probably like late thirties, like maybe forty, like early forties. But they are just looking at each other like like what the hell is this guy on about? They probably think this is some next pyramid scheme or some shit. This guy is asking the wrong people. Like I I really respect people on the Ramsey show, but this is not the right people to be asking this sort of question to. One hundred forty dollars, depending on how good of a software I want, and what that software will do is. On this computer, I could have like, instead of one tab open that is for me to, to add a shoe to a cart, I can have 100 to 200 tabs open and be able to get multiple pairs to resell. Uh, so you, you <laughs> Who's teaching this kid about bots? My guy, this is not how bots work. But to be fair, I, I do understand why he would have said that because that's probably the easiest way to explain to people who don't really get it. And I think at this point, he's probably just clocked. There was probably a mistake asking the Ramsey show team what he should do for his bot setup. Trying to get, you know, fancy. You're just, you're trying to turn yeah, these shoes exactly. faster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have friends that they're already into this and I, I see the numbers that they're able to pull off from it but I don't have a computer that's capable of having that many tabs open and I can run bots on. Who is this guy's friends? Like these guys have just set him up to get screwed over on the Ramsey show. Like what were they expecting? Ramsey show are not gonna say yes, do this. This is a low risk, low reward type team of people who don't advise things that they don't really understand. So they're obviously not gonna back this agenda, are they? Also, if his boys are already getting clips on sites, then why doesn't he just ask them? I mean, if they've got a winning formula, then just do it. I, I honestly, like, if someone asked me, like, what I should do next, it wouldn't be get yourself a $1,500 computer. It would probably be learn more about the bots that you're running, rent them a few times, get comfortable with one, and then just buy it when it's at a low. That's that's literally the, the most simple advice, which I think most people would give. All right, here's, here's what I want you to do. I want to challenge you on something, Sebastian. I'm not against you getting this computer and this software, but I want you to do two things before you do. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to if you have a friend that is truly doing this, either ask them if you can borrow it for a day, for an hour. I want you to prove that you can do this. I want this you is wisdom. This is this is actually wisdom right here because this is something that you need to understand. Like some people see botting as just something that you just sort of jump into and there you go, you're hitting clips. If you've ever seen one of my live cops, you'll understand that it's just not that simple. And also it actually gives you a feel for what you're buying. I mean, he said he's rented bots before, but to be honest, if you really want to get set on a bot and buy one, then you sort of want to know as much as you can about the bot before you buy it. It's a big investment and it's not one of them things you want to go out on impulse buy. You really want to do your research and you want to know that you're certain you can hit clips with, with a bot that you buy. I want you to actually test okay. the software and prove to yourself that you can turn this profit that you think you can before you drop $1,500 into it. I just want you to test it out. However you go about that, whether it's a friend or whatever you do, I just want you to test it. The second thing, if that works and you're like, yeah, this is def I've, I've validated my idea. I definitely can get it. I want you to sit down with your grandparents, tell them your plan and ask their permission for you to make this expense with the intention of you want to pay them off. Right, it's one thing explaining botting to people on the Ramsey show, it's another thing explaining it to my man's grandparents. So, <laughs> mate, if you're doing it, hats off to you. I don't know, I, I, I do not know how you can possibly explain sneaker botting to grandparents. To be fair, if it's their money, he, you probably should do that. Sooner, I want them to feel a part of the decision since you're in debt to them, just out of respect for them and for your own conscience that you're not sitting down at dinner feeling like you just bought this software and feeling even worse about it and you hid it from them. So I just want you to take a couple steps and then the other thing is if if you decide to do it they're good with it you prove your idea i want you to set a goal that you are going to turn you are going to pay that back to yourself you're going to make that much money back in less than three months that is that is a, a tough a tough thing to say because to be honest there's no guarantees with botting one day your bot can be hitting clips next day you know it's just completely rendered obsolete the thing is fifteen hundred dollars to get a computer is not even scratching the surface in terms of expenses when it comes to botting you've got your bot itself which is expensive if you're renting it it obviously adds up as well you've got your proxy costs potentially your server costs 
there's a lot of money involved in to say that you're going to try and get $1,500 back in three months. That's one thing in itself, which is difficult to be honest. Um, and then the second thing is with all the additional expenses, is he even going to be breaking even if he's a beginner? Which I think in three months, in, in, in 2021, that is a tough thing to achieve because sites are just so difficult. Even sites that we used to love in the past, they're just not easy anymore. Like there are no easy sites. Um, foot sites, which was used to be a staple, it's not easy anymore. Um, it's used supply is becoming easier, but not because the site itself is becoming easier. It's because people are just getting used to, to going against its anti-bot. It's complicated. A guy in this situation, in my personal opinion, is not in the state which they should be to be getting into botting if it's not even their own money because this is money that can be lost easily and I feel like any money that you put into this you should have an acceptance that if you lose it all the next day then it's gone and you need to go in with that mentality because if you're not making that money back then it can be very harmful to you if you know you're losing money which a lot of people do and that's why a lot of people quit the game to pay that back to yourself you're going to make that much money back in less than three months I want you, I want yeah, you. And that's, and that, that's why I was um, kind of hesitant instead of just jumping into it because I don't want them to think that like, oh, he just spent this much money on a computer and he's not paying us back. Like I, I saw that I set a budget and it's like, if I do, if I live by my budget, which I've been really like been strict to myself about it, I can have everything paid off to them in three months. And I was like, oh, maybe if I can invest into this, I can have it paid back in like two months. All right. But like you said, I, w I would have to talk to them first about it. Well, and but but here's the thing: you're in school, you're cash flowing, you've got a side hustle, you're a driven guy. You're not just sitting around eating popcorn expecting people to, to make a way for you. You're you're trying, and I and I hear that in your voice and see it in what you've already done. I just want to make sure when you do this, you're upfront with your grandparents, you're clear and prove your idea that you can do it, and then you hold your feet to the fire to get it done in two months, three months, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think you will. I think if you do that, that's that two month three month thing is is risky and i i think he is slightly too optimistic about how well botting can treat someone um i think in a in a perfect world two months is achievable if he wants to pay that money back 1500 and still keep the computer um i don't know though and and to be honest i i think putting that amount of pressure on yourself for something which is very much out of your control i mean sites change all the time you it's not your it is your bot but it's not your code so you're not controlling these factors so that's on the dev side so you've got the site side you've got the dev side then you've got things like proxies and stuff which you might purchase and they'll work one day and they'll get banned the next these are there's too many factors which you just can't be in control of and i think for this guy he's probably not in that situation which he can do all these things and buy a bot with i think if he's had success manually then just carry on with that until you have your own money to invest into software or, or compu computer or whatever. But I think using money that is indebted to someone else to get into botting is not wise by any means. I, I would, it's not something I'd recommend to a friend. It's not something I'll personally do if I was to start botting again now. The right way to go about it to get it paid off even faster. Sebastian, let me ask you this. What, what was the $3,000 for that your uh, parents loaned you the money for? So um, last year, I actually moved out to go to school in Gainesville. Um, and so I didn't have a job when I first went. And so I had to pay my own rent. I had to pay for food. And I made really bad decisions. And I joined a fraternity, which I knew I couldn't afford, but I still did it anyway. Um, I wasn't listening to you guys, obviously. And so now that it's like that I am, I'm like, man, I really should not have done that because that was like $1,500 on its own. So luckily my grandparents, they helped. Right, what, what the hell is this fraternity thing? Because in the UK, we don't have this. We've got societies which like you can join like in uni, but this whole fraternity thing seems so weird. And from what I've seen in the movie, it just, it just sounds like a cult. Is that is that what it is? Is that like his cult membership? Although he said $1,500, so that could have also just been a notify membership. You know, like, hey, like, you can pay this back uh, whenever you're able to, but this is so that you can like keep going to school over there. Um, since ever since like classes went online for covid so i don't have to worry about paying rent or anything like that thank god so you're but, um, you're home still... you're home doing yeah, online yes, school sir. yes sir so that means you have an you have access to a computer i have a computer but it's it's like eight years old and it's not something i could run no 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 
No. This no. this computer won't hold the, have no. that software. You can make yeah. this work. Yeah, you 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 can make this work, uh, Sebastian. Uh, uh, yeah. I thought he didn't have a computer, Ao. I mean, we just had to ask the right questions. Here's my thing, man. Um, you know, I was agreeing with Christy until you said you had a computer. Uh, I, I don't I, I don't sell shoes. You know. <laughs> Same. Um, I don't know the business. I, you can we sell can shoes, and you may not be able to sell it as fast as your friends. But right now, I think you have to really lay down some priorities. Mm -hmm. You you borrow money from your mom, your your parents, so you could join a fraternity. You also, not gonna lie, like. I appreciate where these guys are coming from with the whole eight-year-old computer thing, and but to an extent, you do need like a, a fairly decent computer, and an eight-year-old computer, especially if it's a laptop, you're probably going to be struggling with things, especially if you want to run like a number of tasks localhost, which a lot of people do for things like Supreme and Shopify, um, and also if you want to be doing like a lot of task management through AYCD and stuff like that. So. I think they're a bit harsh about not upgrading at all. I would say upgrading is probably a wise decision for this guy, um, but not something at $1,500. I mean, if you're just using this for, for botting, then you don't need a graphics card. And that alone will, will be saving you a lot of money. I think maybe even something around like the $700 mark could probably be enough for this guy. Um, if you have something with like a decent amount of RAM and a decent processor, then you'll be okay. Um, you don't need to be running like thread rippers and shit it's you just need like a fairly decent computer and i think that's all right to do so especially in this climate where everything's so expensive and gpus are so expensive um just because of shortages then i think getting like a very moderate build would be absolutely fine and obviously when getting a desktop you can always upgrade in the future so there's there's no rush to go all in at the start so my position overall is somewhere in between the two i think he's a bit of an idiot for going off on a limb about Thing saying he needs this and needs that whereas i don't think he truly understands what you do need and i think if he just chatted to his mates a bit more he'll probably learn quite quickly that you don't need the top of the range stuff on the other hand i think these guys don't truly understand and i do empathize they're just sort of trying their best this is just a random call um, and they're trying to work with it and from the information they've gathered i think they've made the right call but when it comes to the computer thing, I, I do think he could do with a small upgrade. And regarding like upgrades and stuff, I would always recommend desktop. And the reason for that is just because I feel like there's so much more. Um, it's like more or less. It feels more fluid than a than a laptop, especially on a Windows system. And also, you can get two monitors for desktops, which are just fantastic when it comes to botting. I think without two monitors, it'll be really difficult for me personally to do a lot of things. Because, for example, I'll have like AYCD or my cook group um, on the right side, and then I'll have like a bot being set up on the other side or my server, and then localhost on the right. Like it just make things so much more easy to manage. So, two monitors is always very recommended for botting. You you borrow money from your mom, your your parents, so you could join a fraternity. You need to pay them back. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time for you to step up to be a man and say, you know what? Let me do what I got to do, pay them back, and then if you want to save up to get the computer, a better computer to sell more shoes, then you do that. But I think this is why I like these guys. I think this is a very rational and logical approach. To be honest, this situation in that pay off your debts first and foremost, especially if it's for stupid shit like a fraternity. And then when you cleared off your debts, then go and spend your your own money on your own risks because at the end of the day it is your own risk and it shouldn't be someone else who takes a hit if you can't then pay their money back. To be completely honest, I think half of these questions probably could have just been answered in a cook group. Like literally just go and pay like, like $30 a month for a cook group and your questions will be answered. You, If you're getting into botting, this is why like, so many people suggest getting into a cook group and it's not because we've all we're all affiliated to our own cook groups or whatever like that like there's a reason we say that and it's just because this is the best place to learn stuff you're with people who are like-minded have been through the process before they already know what works what doesn't work and then asking someone who's not really integrated into the scene or doesn't really know the scene is is quite difficult and the thing with sneaker botting and reselling is it's just so niche as it is and when you're asking people who don't really understand of such a niche topic area then they're not really going to be able to give you that that advice based on experience and instead they'll be giving you generic advice based on risk management that being said as always in sneaker botting there is a huge amount of risk there's a huge amount of risk and the number of people see i've seen who have lost loads of money for example when shoe palace changed to shopify people going palace bot lost thousands um there's then um, like proxy costs and to be hitting clips like if you're looking at people like tiana porter jake it doesn't just come through hitting 
running through running one bot with like three gigabytes of resi data on on some shitty server like these guys are running like like 20 30 servers each has like one or two bots on it they're running like thousands of gigabytes of data they've got hundreds or thousands of dcs like this is not a game for them this is this is big money and and then you know sometimes they'll hit huge clips and sometimes they won't and and for them like if they hit less than like 30 40 pairs then they might be losing money so that's the difference is that you can't look at people and just think okay yeah great i'll get a bot 40 pairs every drop here we go it's not that simple but you need to understand that you can eventually learn to scale your checkouts but to get there is the hardest bit and a lot of people do fall at the first hurdle and unfortunately a lot of people don't recover from that but anyways that's about it for this something very different today i know it was a bit unconventional i, I don't know if you're going to hate it or, or like it or not really give a shit i mean i assume view time is going to be an all-time low because it's not a live cart but <laughs> we'll see what happens also if you've been following me on twitter you've you can you've probably noticed that i've been rambling on about an undisclosed bot which i think is gonna pop in the next few weeks and to be honest it's been doing really well and that is soul terminator um it's so low-key there is no bot which i've seen which has been this slept on for so long like it's it's literally dirt cheap like I've been telling Essentials members to buy it in the last few days because of how cheap it was and already we're seeing the price just rise very quickly. Um, it's under 1k, I mean it was under 1k a couple of days ago, I don't know if it's still under 1k now, but this is a bot which has so much potential and it's been hitting Kith, it's been hitting Concepts, it's been hitting EU Footlocker, it's hit US Footlocker, he's got Yeezy Supply and Beta, it's, it's nuts. Um, I've been trying to get live cops with it but unfortunately the two Shopify sites I ran didn't drop so i wasn't able to get one but hopefully in the next drop i can get one as well i'm speaking closely to the dev and actually trying to see if i can get him on my channel in like a q a type thing which would be interesting okay so just one more thing actually before we do wrap up for today and that is essentials eu is restocking this weekend i'll leave a link in the description on how to join if you're interested in doing so restock will take place on twitter and it last time it went really quickly so i'd suggest that if you're interested that you get followed up asap and turn notifications on essentials eu is an eu focused spotting group and basically what we do is we have really good staff team in place um, as well as really solid guides and other providers and basically the aim is to help you hit with your bots on eu sites we've had a really good success since we launched only a couple of weeks ago and we've had really good feedback as well anyways as always thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your week